What's up everybody, RetroPie Guy here. Today I'm going to show you how to set up and configure your N64 controller with your RetroPie system. This is one of the more challenging controllers to get going on RetroPie, so we're going to put together a step-by-step -step process and see if we can make it easier for everybody. First thing we're going to do is we're going to power on our Raspberry Pi, let it boot up without putting anything into our USB ports. Once it boots up, you'll come to this welcome screen here that says no gamepads detected. At this point, we're going to plug in our N64 controller via the USB port here in the front of our Raspberry Pi. Once that's plugged in, we can go ahead on our gamepad and hold the A button. We'll see at the bottom of this screen, it's going to populate the name of the controller across the bottom. And it's automatically going to take us to this configuration page. So this is where it gets a little bit tricky for a lot of people. The um, prompts here on this configuration page don't really match up with the buttons on an N64 controller. So it gets a little confusing here. So I'm going to show you exactly which way to set this up. So for the D-pad, it's pretty self-explanatory. We're going to go D-pad up, D-pad down, D-pad left, D-pad right. Start button is going to be the start button. So we'll go ahead and select start button. Now for the select here, we're actually going to go with the C down, which is this button right here. For the A button and B button, they're going to be the same. So for A, we're going to hit A. B, we're going to hit B. Now for the X button here, we're going to put C left. So that's this button here. For the Y button, we are going to put C up. That's this button right here. Left shoulder is the left shoulder. Right shoulder is the right shoulder. Now left trigger is going to be the Z button. That is the, or the Z trigger rather. That is right back here. So we'll go ahead and hit that. Now for the right trigger, we are going to do the C right button, which is this one right here. Now for left thumb and the right thumb, we actually don't have any thumbs on here. So we're just going to hold any of the buttons we've already configured. So we'll just hold this button twice. Now for left analog, we are going to do um, directions on the joystick here. So we're going to go for left analog up, we're going to go up. For our left analog down, we'll go down. Left analog left, we'll go left. Left analog right, we'll go right. Now for the right analog, um, we actually don't have any more joysticks here. So again, we're going to skip all of these. So we can hit any button again that we've already configured. Just going to bypass each of these and go right down to the hotkey. So the hotkey, we are going to use again our Z button in the back. So we'll go ahead and pull this button again. And that's going to be the button that we use to exit our games. Now, since we already used this earlier, we're actually going to be, in order to use the hotkey, you'll hit start and pull that trigger in the back at the same time to exit games. So we'll go ahead and um, confirm all of these by hitting A. It'll load for a second. Once we exit the screen, we'll know that everything has been set up. And now we are all set up with every game um, console set up on here except for the N64. So if we go in here just to demonstrate, we'll go into um, Nintendo Entertainment System. And we'll go down to, uh, oops, let's do, uh, go to, let's just jump to Super Mario quick. That's a good one to demo. going to demo this game real quick just so you can see how something like this would work. Um, so now every again every game is going to be set up on here except for the N64. That one requires a little bit more work. So if we go into this game we can just see that everything works well. We have A to jump, B is going to be to run faster. We can play this pretty easily on here. It's going to be the same for every other game on here except for again the N64 game. That works. We'll exit out of here. The hotkey again is going to be this button back here, the C button with the start. Pull those at the same time and we exit our game and go right back to our game collection menu here. So we can actually get out of this by going back. We'll jump over to our N64. I'm going to show you how to set up these controllers over there. So that's the confusing part with the N64 controllers. There's two parts to the process of setting these up. Um, if you jumped in here into the N64 games, as this is already configured, 
you're actually going to have some problems. It's not going to, um, the controls aren't going to be mapped the way that um, they would have regularly been on the original N64 console. So it's going to be super confusing for anybody that, that um, grew up playing these games on here because the controls just aren't going to match up. So in order to get this configured with all the N64 games, we're going to jump into um, any of these games. I like to use Alright, so now we have to access the settings in here. So in order to do that, we're actually going to pull the Z button in the back and the C left button here. So we can go ahead and do that. We'll come to this here. We're going to hit B. And now we're going to go down to settings. And select settings. We're going to go down to input here. And now we are going to jump down to port one binds. That's this option right here. We'll select A on this to jump in here. So now we have to go through the same process mapping the N64 console, which is separate from what we mapped pr um, previously here. So we'll just go down to A button. And the way that we do this is we hit A, and now we hit A again. So now the next option here is the B button. So we'll hit A to select it, and now we'll hit the B button. This is gonna be our mapping process throughout all of these. So now we can go to the start, we'll hit A, start. Same with all the D-pads. So hit A to select this one, D-pad up. Now we can go down, A to select D-pad down, D-pad down, A to select D-pad left, D-pad left, A to select D-pad right, D-pad right. Um, we're gonna jump down to the shoulder here. And some of these are already put in there correctly, but we're just going to go through each one of them just to verify that they are. A to select, left shoulder. Now we go down to the right shoulder, A to select, right shoulder button for the Z trigger, A to select the option, pull the Z trigger back here. Um, now this is just our mode, which is um, fine to skip. These are the control stick. Those are automatically configured, so we're good. Now we can see here, if we look at the C buttons, over to the right of our screen, it's just a line, um, you know, three dashes there. That means nothing's been configured, so that means that all of these C buttons are not configured. So we need to go through this. This isn't super um, self-explanatory, so I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this part. So to do the C buttons, we're gonna select the first one here, and we start with the right. So we'll hit A and we'll do the right C. Now we'll go down to the next one. Second C button here, we'll select A. And for the second one, we're gonna go left. So left C button. Next option is the third one here. We'll select A. For this one, we're gonna go down, C button down. Last one here, select A. We're gonna to go to C button up. And that seems to be all of our controls. Everything's good here. So now we'll just cycle through. We'll go up to the top now. Now this is the most important part. In order to save all these settings, we have to hit Save Auto Config. So we'll hit A here. We'll see in the corner it says Auto Config File Saved Successfully. And now we're all set. So now we can actually hit the Z button on Z trigger on the back and the C left in order to exit this menu. Now we're back in our game. Check this out and make sure that everything is Welcome to Mario Kart! Mario Grand Prix! We're just gonna jump into a random race. Select your player! Select man!
So that shows you how to set this up. You have the uh, two-part process for setting these up in order to play the um, regular console games on here, and then the other way of doing this in order to get the N64 games set up. So that's what is the um, confusing part about setting these up. It's actually why we weren't um, selling these for a while. It took us a while to figure this out. There's a lot of tutorials out there on YouTube, but um, a lot of them are for the older Raspberry Pi systems. It doesn't necessarily translate over to the Raspberry Pi 4 or 400, which is where we're at right now. So hopefully this helps everybody out and um, eliminates a lot of the frustrations of setting these controllers out because this is one of the uh, most popular systems out there that plays on the uh, RetroPie. So in order to, uh, to be able to use these, you do have to go through this process and it's been super frustrating for a lot of people. We've been getting this question about 10 times a day for the last couple months, how to set these up. And honestly, we couldn't figure it out at first ourselves. So we spent a lot of time going through here and trying to figure everything out. So we're just sharing that information. If you enjoyed this video, um, give us a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And of course, check us out online at www.retropieguy.com. Thanks for watching.